Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Crash Bandicoot Warped. Today we're going to feudal era Japan, I assume. Anyway, let's go on to the first level. And in this first level, I'm sure things will be alright. Because this first level is in fact... Dino Might! Alright, let's go. Probably could have did that a bit better, but oh wait. Where haven't we gotten far for a pair of fuzzy marsupials? I am Dr. Nefarious Trophy, master of time and creator of the very time twister machine you see before you. Uka Uka and Dr. Cortex have sent me to end this little charade, so you won't be leaving my area with the crystals. I swear it. Yay, Dr. Nefarious Trophy, and Trophy for short. He made this time twister machine. Still find it kind of weird that, you know, he's the third boss you face. You'd think someone like him, who's, you know, this relevant to the plot, would be the penultimate boss, but whatever. I keep forgetting I can double jump now. This is useful! And we got Primordial Crash Fish. I have no clue what they are. Must be Crash's ancestors. Pre-evolution. I, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't. They're just weird and creepy and they spin. Alright, so onward we go. Just not doing stupid things. So far, I'm not really doing anything too stupid. Which is always a plus. There's the yellow gem platform. We don't want to go there just yet. That was very stupid on my part. Right when I said I wasn't doing anything stupid. Oh well. Anyway, let's go ahead and get a baby T-Rex. Any cute. Oh. Okay, with the baby T-Rex, you can jump. That's pretty much it. You don't want to walk on lava. You can just walk into boxes to destroy them. You don't want to touch a geyser either. You can run through grass easily. He will die to nitro though, so you don't want to touch nitro. Kill enemies by jumping on them. I... There we go, okay. Come on. Nope. No, I, I want you dead. I want you dead. Oh, well, I didn't need Dino Buddy anyway. Granted, he makes things easier, but eh, he's not required to do anything in particular. Okay, alright, okay, onward we go. Not that hard of a level, and um, okay! Well then, there's nothing else. Well, there is more level that way, but now is a good point to go back to the uh, yellow gem. I just wanted to make sure there were no boxes in this way. Or going this way, rather. Either way, there's going to have to be backtracking. Oh. God, I wish I had my Dino Buddy. Dino Buddy, please come back. Please. Okay. Dino Buddy? Dino there you are, Dino Buddy! Oh, thank you, Dino Buddy. I don't want to lose you. Oh, God. I don't want to lose you again, Dino Buddy. You're a buddy of mine, old buddy, old pal, old dinosaur, old T-Rex, baby. What were baby dinosaurs called? You know, like, every animal sort of has, like, a little baby name. Like, you know, baby dogs or puppies. Crap. No! No! Dino! Oh, well. Yeah, baby cats are called kittens. So what the hell were baby dinosaurs called? for thought. Food for thought. Okay, and the music has picked up in intensity, so that can only mean one thing. Shit just got real, yo. Oh, wow. Crap! <laughs> okay, well then, looks like I gotta... Eh, screw it, I'll just backtrack. the once I get, you know, to where the yellow gem lets me off. That's probably not the wisest idea, but, eh. Screw it. Okay, take two. This time, I will not land in lava. Lava is not something I wish to land in. Okay. Let's, let's do this thing. Oh, crap. Be on here. OK. 
Okay. Spin. I spun! Uh, uh, Alright. Alright, I see how this is gonna be. I see how this is gonna be. Okay, I managed to actually beat him this time. Oh, dear God. Okay, I just want to wait for him to spin, and then I can do... No, no. All right. Okay, through the grass. Oh, screw you. Okay, then we can kill him. All right, all right. Things are looking a bit better now. Things are looking a bit better. Really? There we go. Let me just make sure I'm far away. And now I can destroy you. And... Hmm. Oh, wait, yeah, I can easily get that life. Thank you, power of double jump. Alright. Onward we go. Ooh, dear God. Okay, wait. Maybe if I... Crap. Crap. There we go. Yeah, that's the power of the super body slam. You can be a bit further away from the boxes and still destroy them. Oh God. Okay, and now we are being chased. Thank you, checkpoint. Okay. So now we're running from the not-so-scary Triceratops. Whatever. I want to use those little... Ah, oh, crap! No! 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 I did not mean to show this off just yet! Oh, crap! Okay! Um... Yeah! This is a hidden level. It... Oh, I was about to say, it auto-scrolls? Uh, but no, this is a hidden level in, uh, Crash 3. It's called Agapus Rex. Yeah, like, this is a level you don't need to beat to get 100%. Like, it's just there. The only way to get this is by getting caught by the second pterodactyl in that exact dinosaur chase. Yeah. I don't know, like, how many people have legit found this, like, without the help of a guide or anything, because this is just so specific to find it. Or maybe, just like me, they accidentally got it. But yeah, there's both a gem and a relic in here that you get for under five percent and uh yeah might as well do it now i have no choice right i can go to warp room oh level 32 okay but yeah might as well do it now and uh believe it or not there actually isn't a time you need to beat for the uh relics i think there is a developer's time for this but any time you get will net you the platinum relic so i'm gonna go ahead and well, go for it yeah why not all right, yeah, this is a fun little level. It's possibly the, like they say, it's the easiest level to get a relic in. I'd say it's one of the easiest levels in the game. There are no crates whatsoever, just a gem at the end. I'm being extra careful because when you lose your uh, dinosaur buddy, that's it. You cannot beat this level. All right. And yeah, this is just pure 2D platforming. Now watch out for pterodactyls, the natural enemy to, uh, you know, baby T-Rexes. This is a great place to get lives, too. Oh, crap. Yeah, okay, I bounced on him. But yeah, there's wampa fruit everywhere. You're guaranteed some lives. I know I'm advancing through this rather slowly, but like I said... Oh, crap. Wow. But like I said, any time will net you sapphire. But that's always good. Just doing this to get some lives and just be extra careful. Right. Just waiting for the pterodactyl. Damn! Come on, man. All right, all right. You know what? Yes! Wow. All right. Oh, really? I thought any time that's you, Sapphire. I mean, Platinum. Huh. Okay, well, I got gold. All right. Yeah, there is no time to beat. Like, for this level, but you're, you're guaranteed a relic, but I thought it was always platinum. 
Oh well. But yeah, we got both the gem and the relic. All right. Like I said, I really didn't mean to show that off. So back to dynamite I go to redo all that crap. Oh man. Oh man. Okay, finally. Now, oh shit. Now, not to hit that second pterodactyl. Oh god. Boost water, thank you. Okay. Avoid him. Good job. All the other pterodactyls, though, they'll normally kill you, so you always want to avoid them. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Must run. Oh god, Nitro! Okay. That is a very evil uh, nitro pattern right there, you know, just crisscross. Okay, some breathing room. All right, oh, okay, there's the gym and he doesn't follow us. All right, and all the nitro is now dead. Nitro is now sentient, it is dead. Okay, I do want to avoid that because over here, I said over here, we have lives! And alas, we cannot go any further. Alright. Yeah, I definitely needed those five lives, you know, because I was at 42, and I, I get a little nervous when I'm at 42 lives, you know. Things could go wrong, and you, you, you just never know. Oh yeah, I went ahead and got those boxes. Prior, okay, so now I just need to beat the level as normal. Holy crap, I've been recording for too, way too long. Okay. Alright. Then we go up here. Grab that. Swampa. Alright. More Wampa fruit. Down here. Four Wampa. Bonus round. About time. <sighs> and a sneak peek of what's to come. More Triceratops running away from. Hmm. That was a horrible sentence. Alright, but anyway, over here we go. Let me just make sure there's nothing up here. No, okay. Now I'm free to do this. Alright. Anything up here? Doesn't seem like it. Alright. Break these. Got a life right there. It's pretty great. I'm gonna destroy this first. Okay, and now we can break these. And now we have to use the power of the super body slam to break those. I like the area of effect on this. It makes body slamming a lot safer now. 
unless you decide to body slam next to TNT or Nitro, which is a very stupid decision. Okay, we just have, what, 15 more crates? We can do it. We can do it. That was 12. Now it's, well, okay, whatever. I'm, I'm just going to stop counting. I'm just going to focus on running away from a Triceratops that wants me dead. I don't know why I didn't do anything to it. I didn't bring about the Ice Age or the Comet or whatever it was that wiped out the dinosaurs. Oh, God, no, I want that. Okay, he destroyed it for me. Thank you. Phone is ringing. Why are you ruining this for me, phone? Did I get that gem? Yes, I did. Okay, one moment. All right, that was annoying. Anyway, we're done. All right, and that is Dino Might done. We got two gems and a crystal. No time to dance, Crash. That was not a good showing. Anyway, on we go to Deep Trouble. Yeah, this is going to be a rather long one. Not a big fan of this one. Not a big fan, but eh, it's it's manageable. Okay, so we just got these. Need to get reacquainted to the controls with this. So, yeah, circle is boost. Oh, God, Nitro. I, for the life of me, cannot remember if there is a Nitro crate here. So I'm just going to go ahead and destroy it. That seems like something this level would throw at you. They were destroying the puffer fish because they're evil. Who are they that have a defense mechanism like that? Alright, how many crates are here? 83. Alright. It's just so slow paced. Okay, oh dear god, no. No! Oh, come on! Man, no! Eel, why you gotta be like that? Alright. Here we go again. Alright. So here we are, back again. I'm just gonna wait for this mine to go over here. Or maybe I should just wait for the eel to go back in. Nope, oh, screw it. Alright! I would really appreciate a checkpoint right now. You have no idea. Thank you. Oh, and thank you for the mask, too. Oh, got that. You want to avoid that. Because it will hurt you. That can be said about a lot of things in this game. Like, pretty much, if it doesn't look friendly, it will hurt you. Then again, Crash 2 had friendly-looking penguins, and they hurt you. Then again... You should never trust penguins to begin with. Unless that penguin is a Pokemon penguin. Or King DDD. You know, because King DDD, he, he means well. Yeah, he's arrogant and cocky and fat. But he has a good heart. His, his heart's in the right place. I took damage there. Like a dummy. Like a dummy. Alright, we got Nitro. Nothing I can do about those. So I guess there is a green iron crate here to destroy the nitros. Okay, this. We want to come back here momentarily. Okay, you gotta watch out for eels. you have a bad time if you get bit by one. Oh, there's only one eel. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. Not today, rotating disc of electric doom. Pufferfish right there is an evil pufferfish. Do not let the smile fool you. Okay. Destroying everything in our path. What was the point of it? Oh, wait. No, I'm not about to lose it right here. Never mind. Okay, killing the sharks. Hope they're not in danger. Okay, right, okay. Destroying everything in our path like a boss. I want to wait for these because I don't want to lose this just yet. All right. And that's the end of the level. We have 53 out of 83. However, we have unfinished business. Oh, God. 
Right now, I just need to make it back without dying. Famous last words. I should be able to do it. This isn't that difficult. Just being extra careful. Extra careful is always good careful. What? I, I don't know. I don't know. Let's just roll with it. Let's just roll with it. Alright. Avoiding you. And now we just need to make it past this. And an eel. All right, and with that, we are free to go right here. All right, get out of there, Crash. Let's grab that Wampa Fruit, why not? It was just there. All right! And we got a checkpoint right here, thank you. All right, so now here we go. Avoid Pufferfish. Oh God, no, avoid Nitro too. Yes, just avoid all that nitro. Just suspend it underwater for no reason other than to murder your face. And I don't like my face to get murdered, no sorry, Bob. All right, all right, okay. Shark right there. This, wow. Okay, I managed to get the goodies there. We are currently at 15 lives. And there's more crates, or just a crate. All right, all right, all right. Let me kill that shark. I just need to avoid these and hit that. We got that gem. We got the red gem. And we got the exit. All right, Deep Trouble actually went rather easy. Nice to end on a, you know, high note. Because Dynamite, my god, that took me a minute. That took me a minute. Yeah, this entire recording took uh, 32 minutes to be exact, so eh, whatever. You know what? You've earned the dance, Crash. You have earned the dance. Yeah. Alright, so with that done, thank you all for watching and see you all next time for some more Let's Play Crash Bandicoot 3, where hopefully things will go easier than they did in Dynamite. Well, that being said, you know, Dynamite wasn't all that bad. I mean, it didn't reach cold, hard crash levels of insanity, but, eh, whatever. All right, goodbye.